All right, Friday the 13th fans, we have been on such a roller coaster for the past year and things have just been so confusing. Earlier this year, we were promised news throughout all of 2024 and we didn't really get that, although we did hear some pretty cool stuff. So today I wanted to compile all the news we got over the past year or so and maybe even fill you in on some stuff you didn't know about. For my sources for this video, I'm mainly going to be using official news sites like Bloody Disgusting, Deadline, and Variety. But there are a couple of scoopers that I believe to be pretty trustworthy and I'll be using some of their information. Still take everything I say based on what they've been hearing with a grain of salt. I'll put an icon in the bottom of the screen whenever I'm mentioning their scoops. So starting off with some smaller nudes in regards to Jason on physical media, you may have already heard that the 2009 reboot is coming to 4K, but Jason Goes to Hell, Jason X, and Freddy vs. Jason can all be expected to come to the platform soon as well. And of course I'm going to talk about Jason Universe. In May of this year, Horror Inc. announced Jason Universe, which was described to span a wide range of platforms from entertainment, games, immersive experiences, merchandise, and more to be announced throughout 2024. And well, it's October now and we have heard practically nothing. This was pretty exciting back in May before we realized that literally nothing would happen. And the only really downside to all of this is that basically everything is coming other than a new movie. All right, let's move on to some bigger things. Almost two years ago, we were given the announcement of a Friday the 13th prequel series entitled Crystal Lake. The show was going to be produced by A24 and released on Peacock. The only downside to this was that the show was going to follow Pamela Voorhees opposed to Jason. At first, people thought it was due to legal issues, but it's really all because of the original showrunner. Now I say original showrunner, and that's because he was recently fired. Brian Fuller, who was that original showrunner, was recently accused of sexual misconduct while working for AMC. Now it's never been officially stated that this was the reason that A24 decided to go in a different direction, but the timing is pretty suspicious. Fuller had to convince A24 to go along with this idea for Pamela Voorhees. They, knowing their audience, originally intended to make a more Jason-focused project. The original plan was to follow the story of the films, but adapted for television. Season 1 would be an adaptation of the first film, following Pam, Season 2 would be based on Part 2, following Hillbilly Jason, and so on and so on. Which lines up with Fuller's promise of, if we get to Season 10, we're gonna go to space. There was also an episode written by Kevin Williamson following Pamela Voorhees' killing in the snow, and was confirmed by Williamson himself to be an hour-long chase sequence. Additionally, Adrian King would have a reoccurring role, who Friday fans would recognize as the original final girl of the series. The show was described as a gorgeous portrait of a mother unraveling in her grief. Pamela Voorhees was eyed to be played by Charlize Theron, and a couple of people came forward about reading the first handful of episodes and had nothing but praise for it. Crystal Lake was scheduled to release on Peacock in 2024, with Vincenzo Natali and Kimberly Pierce set to direct episodes. So, what happened? As previously mentioned, Brian Fuller was fired from the series and he was fired just three months before production was planned to begin in the summer of 2024. And due to an inexperienced production crew and internal conflicts, A24 is going back to square one. As far as what we know going forward, Brad Caleb Kane is set to be the new showrunner. He also was the showrunner for that IT prequel series coming soon to Max, so we'll see how that goes, I guess. Other than that, we have no idea if A24 is still planning on going with ideas from Fuller's plan or if they're restarting entirely. Although, as previously mentioned, they originally wanted a Jason-centric show. According to Sean S. Cunningham, he's heard that they are filming in Australia later this year and are hoping to release season 1 in 2025, although he said there isn't much validity in that story. And as far as movies go, it's predicted that we still have to wait 2-5 to five years for anything to really happen. But if and when it does happen, it's looking like Blumhouse are going to be the guys who do it. Sean S. Cunningham is apparently really interested in their bid for the rights, and apparently Blumhouse is working hard to untangle the movie rights so that they're able to do it. And this is where I gotta be honest, I really hope that Blumhouse don't end up getting the rights. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I despise the studio or anything, as they put out some of my favorite horror movies of recent years. But I do think their handling of IPs hasn't been the greatest, especially recently. And I know how they make their movies. Of course, with a big name like Friday the 13th, they're gonna have a budget. But usually these things are made for nothing other than profit. I mean, why do you think Five Nights at Freddy's was PG-13? Majority of the time, they don't feel like they were made with love of the genre, which is something that I take issue with. It's rumored that Blumhouse is also going to be housing the Nightmare on Elm Street rights as well, so maybe we could get a Freddy vs. Jason sequel. Jason Blum said that he, James Wan, and Atomic Monster are all very interested in getting Friday the 13th back on the big screen. Damian Leone has also expressed interest in the series, which I feel like he would work better with Nightmare on Elm Street. On the video game side of stuff, we don't have anything concrete. Of course, we know that the Friday the 13th game is shutting down on December 31st of this year, may it rest in peace, and that Jason Universe is really desperate for a Fortnite or Call of Duty collab, which I have no idea why it hasn't happened yet. Still blows my mind that we're getting Leatherface in Fortnite before Jason, but... Oh, and Jason was added to multiverses, but I don't know if anyone really plays that anymore. 
But as far as rumors go, apparently a Fortnite collaboration is in the works. Apparently this collaboration would have no reference to the Friday the 13th brand, whatever that means. And according to leakers, we are getting two new Friday the 13th games. One similar to the game we already had, being a Dead by Daylight-esque multiplayer game, and another being more story-driven and single-player. And that's everything that we have right now. It does kind of feel good to be a Friday the 13th fan. It feels like things are kind of happening, especially with Crystal Lake. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for the future of Friday the 13th? I definitely just want Jason back on the big screen. Even if it is Bonhouse, just give give me whatever you got. Also, will you guys be picking up Jason on 4K? I just got the Screen Factory box set recently, actually, so I don't think I will, but, but I do want that Arrow Video 2009 release, because that thing's nice. Anyways, this is like my first video with a real outro, so I don't really know what I'm doing, so...